lifetime to hear my name called on draft day. Then it happened, and I was on my way to Miami. My NBA journey had begun. Being a rookie is everything they said it would be. And then some. An explosion from Justice Winslow. They say you never forget your first. And I'm going to savor everything about this first season. I know there'll be ups and downs, but I'm ready for the challenge and the opportunity. Just give me a chance, and I'll show what I can do for this team and this town. From 20. Yes. Wade against the six foot eight inch pocket of his ducks under and bounces it in. Wade checks the shot clock and heaves up the three and buries it. Wade on the handle. Driving all the way in. That's a pretty play by D Wade. Here's Wade. Yes. Dwayne Wade has come back to life. Bosch hands it off to Dwayne. The runner is right on target. Four-game holiday homestand for the Heat is a big game Friday night in Miami. A matchup of division leaders and Eastern Conference contenders inside the Heat's house. The second of four meetings between Miami and Toronto. And we always hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us. Whether it's on the road or here at home, Miami Heat basketball on Fox Sports Sun. Proudly presented by AT&T Uverse. We start another weekend in homestand, and we thank you, as always, for enjoying your Miami Heat basketball. That thing, there it is. Got some solid product of that thing. Scola. And one basketball. Off the steal, by the way. There'll be a few of those. He had 12 in the first half. Let's go to the Dragon. Reversing it and one. He had 13. Now part of a 9-2 Miami Heat run. It's from the Dragon. Two weight. Nice slash. Johnny? Yeah, look at the uh, use right there of the pick and roll. Had a shot, but made the unselfish play, kicking it inside to his right because he saw Wade have that open lane to the rim. Dragic hit six of his nine shots. That, that's the Slovenian shuffle right there. It is. 27-25 Toronto, though. Let's go to the second quarter. Ross, off good ball movement. I got him, bro. 34-29 Toronto. Up. Let's go to the All My Sons. Keep moving the game. Oh, man. Boss got nasty right there. Left hand crusher. Look at the pike on top of Patterson. He tried to get out of there. Nothing fancy there. That's just a straight left hand bread and butter drive. It's too late for Patterson. Just got to stay in there. Wait, pull up. Over Johnson. He hit six to nine in the first half. And then Green, pull up. Splash. And one on the three. Can I get a react from the bench? Yeah, they're out of the control. Uh, they got more now. What is that? That's the match we tried. He's got the binoculars got, going on. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff happening right there. <laughs> Toronto was up, though. <laughs> the Umbo, two hands from Ross. He had three in the first half. Miami up five at the break. Let's go to the third quarter. Cleveland Clinic team play of the game. Wade, wide mm. side, oop, nasty. What do you see here? Really nice. Well, Wade doing such a good job. Look at all the defense he draws. He knows that he can flip it right up on a platter there. And white side's got such good hands, reads it beautifully, and such a high percentage score right there. Five assists for D. Wade in this contest. Speaking of Wade, he passed Bob Lanier on the all-time scoring list. He moves into the 46th spot with that runner in traffic. He had 21 in the game. John, if you got a little more DeRozan in your brain, it's time to say it right now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, so impressive how he's able to get to that mid-range game and really get the shot he wants. He's not comfortable beyond the arc. That's not his game. He has that ability to get inside off the dribble. Look how he creates space. Whiteside ran him down here, though. But, you know, what's what's interesting is the next time we'll hit you with a ball fake and draw the foul. you got to be really careful with the road. Ross had five threes in this game. There's one of them right there. This, that, and a third on that one. Mercy. 19-6 Toronto run. 81-77 Toronto. But here come the Heat. Bosch had 11. Here's two of them with both hands. James Johnson, though, pushing back, pushing back. Wide side, not there. Mm. Chest to chest, not enough. Johnson at 13. And Green, by the way, was tremendous in this one. He had five of 10 from the edges, all the way to 20 points. Toronto with a four point lead at that point. But then, how Lowry. If you go to drive, oh. that's how you yes. drive. 
That's nice to right there. There it is. You know, oh, at the end of the show. <laughs> Doesn't feel as good when somebody else does it. Mike, take a look at this right here. This is uh, not quite the equation, John, that we've seen. When you see perfect Miami Heat basketball, you, you see a team that's scoring under 90 points as the opposition, a team shooting under 40%. 40%. This right. is the flip side of that. Correct, and then turnovers. I mean, Heat with 13 turnovers, they gave up 21 points off those turnovers. And then points in the paint, which is usually a category Miami dominates, they gave up a minus 14 mm -hmm. there to the Raptors. The Raptors defense, he was he was aggressive with the ball fake, he was aggressive moving. Uh, look at how well he's able to finish using the athleticism around the basket there, hanging in the air. The quick finish with the left hand. How many times have we seen him rebound his own miss? But when he's making that mid-range shot, I, I say it over and over again, then they have to come out and guard him. He's able to use that explosive first step. And this guy continues to impress me, getting back his rhythm on the offensive end, shooting the basketball, Jack. But what he's done really well uh, is not just make threes. His ball fake and stepping inside the defense has been productive, too. Uh, he really got it going, 5 of 10 beyond the arc. Uh, overall, 20 points. Anytime you can give that kind of production off the bench, that kind of shot in the arm, you're doing a great job for your team. 41 combined points out of the law firm of Wade and Green. And we should note, D. Wade moves into the 46th spot all time on the NBA scoring list, moving past Bob Lanier. That gets you on television. It's a 94. Raptors win. If you'd like to catch tonight's game again, tune in tonight at midnight as we replay all of tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For Eric Reed, the coach Tony Fiorentino, as well as Kristen Hewitt, Ron Rothstein, and John Crotty. I am Jason Jackson. Thanks so much for watching. Good night, South Florida. We leave you with the final take if LeVon has gotten off the floor from laughing at Pete.